How to manage Geofiber Wi-Fi router? Hello friends, in this first section of video, you will understand how to manage your Geofiber Wi-Fi router. To begin with, open My Geo app and select Geofiber. Here, enter your registered mobile number or landline number. A notification pop-up will appear asking your permission to view and send SMS. Tap on Allow to proceed. Now enter the OTP received on your mobile or email ID and tap on Login. You are now on the home screen of MyGeo. Tap on Fiber. Now tap on My Device as seen on the footer menu. Next, tap on Network Configuration. Network Configuration Here you can view network details like serial number, MAC ID, firmware version and more. You can also view last rebooted information by tapping on last switched on time. All the devices paired to your Wi-Fi router will appear here. Green Wi-Fi icon indicates that the device is currently connected. You can easily identify the paired devices. You can also rename a particular device. To do so, click on three dots. Next, select Edit Name and enter the new nickname. Lastly, tap on Save Name. Please note, actual update may take some time. It is suggested to recheck in 48 hours. How to block and unblock devices Now, let us see how to block devices from accessing internet through your Wi-Fi router. To proceed, tap on Block Devices. Select the devices you want to block. After selecting the name, tap on Block. In case you wish to unblock any device, then tap on Paired Devices. And tap on Blocked to view blocked devices. All the blocked devices will appear here. Tap on Unlock icon besides the device to unblock. A confirmation pop-up will appear. Tap on Unblock device to confirm. As you can see, your desired device is now unblocked. Wi-Fi settings Moving ahead, let us see how you can change your Wi-Fi name, password and can set up multiple Wi-Fi networks or SSIDs on your Geofiber home gateway with different security policies and functions. There are four SSIDs or Wi-Fi networks available on your Geo Wi-Fi router. Two with 2.4 GHz and two with 5 GHz. You can use one for personal and the other as guest ID. Green Wi-Fi icon against the SSID indicates that particular Wi-Fi network is available and the devices can be connected to it. To manage Wi-Fi IDs, tap on the specific Wi-Fi ID. The toggle button will enable and disable the Wi-Fi ID. Once disabled, all the devices connected earlier to this Wi-Fi ID will no more be able to access internet and neither can you search this Wi-Fi network from any of the devices. Next, to edit the name of the Wi-Fi, tap on the pencil icon. Enter the name and tap on Submit. Please note, once you change the Wi-Fi name and password, all the connected devices to this Wi-Fi network will be disconnected from internet and need to be connected again to your Geo Wi-Fi router with the new Wi-Fi name and password. Now, let's see how to edit the password of your Wi-Fi. First, tap on pencil icon besides change password. Then, enter the new password and tap on submit. 
disabling the Wi-Fi visibility stops the router from sending out the Wi-Fi network's name, making it invisible to unpaired devices. Though the network itself will still be present and all the existing paired devices will still be able to use it, to hide your Wi-Fi network, tap on the toggle button. Moving ahead, WPS that is Wi-Fi Protected Setup is used to add new devices to an existing network without entering long passwords. Provided the end device is trying to make the connection using the WPS setup. It is advisable to keep the WPS switched off when not required. To do so, tap on the toggle button to switch on and off this functionality. You can also set the number of devices connected to a particular Wi-Fi network by simply tapping on pencil icon besides associated device limit. Next, tap on the plus icon or minus icon to increase or decrease the device limit. Then tap on submit. Auto diagnose and self troubleshoot. The icons you see in the lower section will provide you with tools and utility to diagnose and self troubleshoot any connectivity issues with your geofiber services. Let's look at each of them one by one. First, tap on Troubleshoot. Troubleshoot is a voice bot that will help you diagnose the issue with your geofiber connectivity and help resolving the same. Next, tap on Run Quick Diagnostics. With Run Quick Diagnostics, you can auto-diagnose your geofiber Wi-Fi router and solve connectivity issues. Lastly, you can also self-resolve by viewing how-to videos. Watch videos to learn about how to manage geofiber services.